In this video, we'll look at submitting assignments. I'll go to my assignments. And I'll uh, open the assignment that I'm trying to work on. Here's we'll have a due date, but this one is just an example. The assignment, uh, some directions are here, read through those. The assignment is accessed by a link seen here. Uh, the word copy in it. What that will do is cause me to, uh, to have to make a copy. And I'll say click on make a copy. And there's a copy of my homework. Just so I can identify it later as being mine. I'm going to put my initials on the front. And then I can go ahead and answer the questions, calculate the sum of the frequencies, get the sum of the numbers. So I can I can do the calculations that I need to do to do this particular homework and answer the questions. When I'm done, when I'm done, uh, I can now go and submit that document. So I'll, uh, I'm returning to the other tab and uh, submit the assignment. And I did that assignment. You might note, if you look carefully in the upper right, I'm in my college drive. It's made a copy in my college drive. And so it's, and that's necessary. You can't do this in your own drive for this next piece to work. I'm gonna use this to go pull that and submit it. You can also use file upload to upload a file from your own computer if you've downloaded the copy that you worked on to do it somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and use this to pull over a copy of the file. It's going to ask me, it may ask me to switch to my account. If this, if your college account is not showing, switch it. But I've got the college account showing, so I'll select my file. The recent should probably show it. Here's why I gave it a, a name I could recognize, uh, so I can tell which one I'm actually looking at and I'll simply add that it'll attach that file just wait a moment I can add any comments I might have uh, and submit my assignment And at this point, you can simply say, OK. If I wanted to resubmit it, I could. One of the things to bear in mind is, though, I shouldn't click this link again, because it will make another copy. If I want to go back and edit my file before resubmitting it, I left most of the questions blank, then what I want to do, if I'm coming back in later, is I want to go to my college drive. This, I type drive.google.com. That's all I type, drive.google.com. That will work. Or you can type sheets.google.com. That will also get you back to your own sheets, so you can see your sheets. There's the one I was just working on. There's mine there that I was working on. And so I can open it from here, or I can open it from my drive. If you're not in your college drive at this point, you'll have to switch up here. So this is my college drive up here. If you have another account, you can switch to that account and get to that drive. But you want to be in your college account when you do this. So if you're not in it, switch to your college account. And that will get you to the copy you just made. And so I can then edit that copy and resubmit it if I wish from the resubmit button back here. Uh, just so that uh, you can see uh, what I'll see, I'll leave the student view at this point. Uh, and when I go into my grader, I'll be able to see what you've submitted. In this case, there's the file. And I get this, can mark it and uh, make any comments. There's a comment you that the student made, and I can mark it and make comments. But again, that's the way on a laptop, that's the way the 
if the homework works, you wind up with a copy. If you need to edit it again, don't click the link again. It'll make another copy. You, you could do that, but you're going to wind up with multiple copies. It doesn't hurt anything. It just creates multiple copies. You can always use your drive and Google Sheets to go back and edit the copy that you made when you op first opened it up.